So I can categorically say that this is the best thing and the wisest piece of advice that I've ever been given. And it's been my greatest decision, decision to practice self-love. To describe it to somebody else, it sounds very new age, hippy dippy and a bit mad. Um, and I dismissed it as rubbish when it was first recommended to me because I thought, yeah. But, but please bear with me because it might help someone you know or if you struggle with low self-esteem or depression then it's, it's a really really good thing to learn. So um, as a side note I was in the most horrendous state in November of last year. I won't go into it in detail but I was very ill and I've been practicing self-love since December of the same year and I've never felt happier or more confident in myself so I do know it works first-hand experience right here. <laughs> okay uh, so your relationship with yourself is the closest and most important relationship that you will ever have in your life. So you, you go from birth all the way through until the very end. It's a morbid thought. Um, <laughs> so you have, to, you have to take yourself, you know yourself your entire life and you have to spend that life with you. So you need to make that relationship with yourself strong and positive and you need to, you need to love yourself because how, how you wouldn't spend a lifetime with somebody that you hated, would you? Let's be honest. So... When was the last time somebody told you that they loved you and respected you just the way you are and that what you think and feel means the world to them? And when was the last time somebody told you that you did a great job or when necessary that everything's going to be okay? And when was the last time that somebody was you? If at all, ever, have you ever? I can only give suggestions based on what I've been doing for the last four months, but basically the idea of self-love is that you treat yourself how you would treat a romantic partner. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, but you literally go out with yourself. So I've been for walks with myself. I've been to the theatre with myself. I've been for coffee with myself. But remember, you're not by yourself. You're not alone because you keep, you are keeping yourself company and you are with yourself the whole time. And you love spending time with you because remember, nobody gets you like you do. Yeah, you understand how you work. <laughs> so how would you treat a partner you loved? Uh, you buy them little gifts occasionally. You'd hold their hand, maybe touch their cheek, play with their hair. So do this to yourself. Uh, you don't have to be obvious or over the top and you don't have to do it in front of anybody else if you don't feel happy with that But uh, the most important and effective thing to do however is to tell yourself all of your good qualities So if your partner was particularly funny and made you laugh a lot you'd tell them wouldn't you or if they had great hair You'd pay them a compliment So do the same thing for you even if you don't believe it you must try so even if you can't think of a single possible good quality about yourself you still have to come up with something the most effective way of doing this that i've come up with or found is uh that for example you had a conversation with your friend earlier today um you replay that conversation in your head from the friend's perspective so and then pick out all the positives that you can think of uh, about it so oh yes i was really kind when i said that i was really funny when i said that oh good job good job because you made her feel really nice you made me feel really nice, you know, <laughs> if that makes sense. You know what makes sense? I'm trying to make it make sense. <laughs> uh, even if that doesn't work and you can't think of a single possible good quality, fake it. Think of something that you really want. Oh, I really want to be more compassionate. And pick up all the things that were compassionate in that conversation that you had, or in all the conversations that you have. Oh yes, I was really compassionate when I asked her about how her nana was, or something like that. Just an example. Um, so I thought it was rubbish. I genuinely thought this was rubbish. Oh, not one of these things again. Because mm. I've been to so many different helpful, helpful sessions. <laughs> but this actually, I did try it because I was in such a state and I no look back. So, um, and even if I do feel down, because obviously you're going to have bad days, uh, I reassure myself as if I was reassuring somebody else. So if a friend or a partner of mine was in tears over their terrible and painful acne, I would tell them that it's not as bad as they think and tell them what makes up for it. So, for example, hey, you've got great glasses on. <laughs> um, and try and suggest solutions to the problem as well. So I would say something like, um, oh, it's all right. It's all right, because you have a really nice face. And lots of people have told you how jealous they are of your cheekbones. <laughs> uh, and so what if you have a couple of spots? They're really not as bad as you think. They're not so bad today, but don't draw attention to it, it's fine. <laughs> um, and if people, if, people, if people are judging you for your spots then they're horrible. They're horrible people. You don't need to be friends with people like that because they're a poison, you know? Who judges people? Who judges somebody on their skin? Seriously. Anyway, uh, stick with the cream that you're using for two weeks and if it's still bad, we'll make a doctor's appointment and see what he can do. It's all right. It's all right. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's all right. We'll sort it. I love you. I love you. 
and you must love yourself, you must, because you must hug yourself and smile and mean it when you say it, because how can you successfully love somebody else if you don't know how to love yourself effectively? That's the main point here. And I'm so happy with myself at the moment that I worry, <laughs> I actually worry, that the addition of another person into the mix would make me jealous of me, <laughs> would upset the dynamic going on here. <laughs> Um, I'm joking, obviously, but um, I know it sounds very frothy and ridiculous, but it's a life skill that will get you through anything, literally anything, because uh, you are always going to be there for you, you will never leave you, and you will never let you down by not being there, um, and you are a perfect match for you. Also, most important, well, all of it is very important, but this is the most important, never, ever, ever let anybody tell you it is vain to love yourself, or love who you are, or be happy in yourself because it's not vain. You don't have to tell everybody, hey, I love myself, I'm the best, I'm amazing. You don't have to, you know, unless you want to, but that's definitely gonna push people away. <laughs> uh, just, you don't have to broadcast it like I am. You, know. uh, you can just be safe in the knowledge that you do love yourself and that you are there for yourself if you're, if you're having a tough time. And exams, don't worry, because you're there to support you through it. You are there in the exam with you to help you and, you know, you are all wonderful people. You all deserve this. You should all know how wonderful you are. So please try it. And let me know how you get on um, in the comments. Or you can contact me at uh, facebook.com forward slash Josie Phillips Photography. <laughs> um, so if you want to chat about any of it, or if you're having difficulties with it, or you want to ask me more about it, then please, please contact me because I will reply to as many as possible. And... Um, I would talk about it until the cows come home, as this video has sufficiently um, shown. So anyway, uh, lots of love, lots of love to you all, because you're all amazing and you deserve every happiness. <laughs>